Titanfall 2 is the game that I wanted to play when Respawn first showed off its giant robot tank concept. It's doubled down on its breakneck movement and grandiose scale, and this time around it comes with an engaging single player trek through a universe that was begging to be fleshed out. Trust me. In this review in progress, we're looking at Titanfall 2's single-player campaign. Multiplayer impressions will follow when the servers turn on this week and I've had some time to put some hours into them. Titanfall 2's campaign is the tale of Rifleman Jack Cooper, who's unexpectedly given the reins of Vanguard-class Titan BT-7274 You may call me BT. Or BT. BT. Got it. When the two are stranded on the planet Typhon. This is what we're fighting for, Cooper. A world that's not metal and smoke. Their logical robot meets everyman buddy comedy quips are fun. That was a meat grinder. You okay? I'm undamaged. However, I do not believe this is a food processing plant. If somewhat predictable, but there's a genuine mutual respect and caring between them. Got you. We get to know them as they work through six hours of excellent level design. Each of these atmospheric areas is a sprawling playground of twisting jungle valleys, massive factories, military structures, and debris fields. I was impressed that each level felt big enough for me to sprint, hurdle, double jump, and wall run through, while also being organized well enough that I never felt lost. Levels are deftly crafted with both Titan and Pilot in mind, requiring you to wade through toxic sludge or a cloud of poison while inside the Titan before you're forced to hop out and pinball between walls and railings in order to clear a path for your companion to follow. The platforming design is as refreshing as any I've encountered in a first-person shooter. Throughout the campaign, new mechanics are consistently introduced that range from neat additions to whole new puzzle elements. By the end, you're fully expected to be able to combine them all. Throughout each dense level, swarms of IMC grunts, human-esque elite robots, Typhon's indigenous fauna, and massive titans all punctuate the platforming with heavy combat encounters. While most of the soldiers and robots serve as cannon fodder with predictable but effective AI, they're still lethal if not respected. Titanfall 2's weapons are an enjoyable collection of punchy firearms like the powerhouse automatic shotgun and the electric sphere firing rocket launcher. When combined with the smooth movement and melee attacks, this varied arsenal offers moments of catharsis and satisfaction. But when you're inside your slower and more grounded Titan, the combat becomes more conventional first-person shooting. Though unlike the multiplayer Titans, BT is capable of swapping loadouts on the fly to become a totally different class, complete with weapons and abilities and defensive items. The unlockable loadouts are a refreshing change of pace, especially when earned after defeating one of the slightly more powerful boss Titans from the Apex Predator's Mercenary Corps. Let's just put a high price on your head, pilot. Dead or alive. That makes you worth something to me. Our review in progress will continue through this week as I put more time in with Titanfall 2's extensive multiplayer modes before finally sampling the stability of the servers at launch. For more on everything Titanfall 2, keep it right here on IGN.